Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today and it's April and April's my birthday month so to celebrate I am making some birthday cards and this is the one that I'm going to be making today so stay with me and I will show you how I made it. These are the things that I'm going to be using today. Uh, my card base is a piece of uh, Thick Whisper White and I've cut this to 8 inches by 5 and 3 quarters and I've folded it in half at the 4 inch mark and I've also cut a piece of basic black card which is 4 inches by 5 and 3 quarters and that's going to cover the whole front of my card base. Stamps that I'm going to be using, I'm using Cottage Greetings and I'm going to use Versamark ink and silver embossing powder. I'm going to be using Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper and Silver Glimmer Paper and they're just scraps that are just big enough for me to do what I want to do. I'm using the Stars Framelits and the Swirly Scribbles Framelits and I'm also going to be using uh, some of the Metallic Sequins. I'm going to begin by stamping onto the basic black card and I'm using my stamp press to help me this time because I'm not the straightest stamper in the world and this is going to be the entire front of the card so uh, I want to make sure that my stamping doesn't come out crooked. Now I've gone over my black card very well with, the, uh, with my embossing buddy and I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and secure in my stamp press. Now this is a Misty. There are other stamp presses now on the market and uh, basically you um, you pay your money and you take your choice at the moment. Right I'm using Versamark ink and I've got the happy birthday stamp from Cottage Greetings mounted up onto the background plate here um, because this is going to be a birthday card. So some light tapping with the verse mark and let's press that down firmly. And, uh, I'm sorry about the glare on the, on the plate. Let's move the lights a little bit. Excuse me. And this is all good because this allows the, uh, the verse marking plenty of time to transfer. Okay, so let me have a look at that. And yep, I've got some well transferred Versamark there so I can put that to one side and I have silver embossing powder and I did have a spoon, where's it gone? Here it is. And let's cover that generously with the silver embossing powder. I'm just taking a little look to see if any of that has gone where I don't want it to, which in spite of all of the uh, all of the embossing buddy, we there a couple of little flecks here and there. Excuse me while I blow those away. And now I am going to emboss it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my heat gun on just for a few seconds to warm up and then I'm going to emboss from behind because I want a very very smooth mirror finish on my embossing and my heat gun it's a stamping up heat gun and it's two speed and I've got it on the high speed so uh, once I bring this in this is going to get quite noisy so I'll uh, speed this up and I will be back in a moment. I'm going to go and do some die cutting in a moment and I'm going to cut one of uh, this shape from the Swirly Scribbles in the Dazzling Diamonds card and when I put it through the Big Shot I am going to use my precision plate and I'm going to make sure that it goes through with the broad side to the rollers, not up and down. I want to put it through widthways. That's important if you're using the precision base plate, okay? It protects your die because it, uh, it evens out the amount of pressure that 
the, that is being placed on the die and therefore the amount of strain that it's under okay so one of those and uh, I'm also going to uh, cut some stars out of the silver uh, glimmer paper and I'm going to use the three smallest star shapes that's these now these don't need the precision base plate um, so I will switch over to the normal magnet uh, the, my normal base plate for for these and I'm going to cut out one of those, one of those, and a few of those. And I'm going to go over to my Big Shot right now, and I will be right back. I just spent five minutes putting this together and forgot to turn the camera on. So I'm just going to talk you through how I did it. Luckily, it's quite straightforward because all I did was um, put wet liquid glue on the back of all of my die cut pieces and arrange them onto the front of the card, which I'd already put onto the, um, the white card base. And the bits that were hanging over, I turned the card over and I just snip, snip, snipped those away. And uh, this is the stage that I'm at now. So uh, I'm almost finished. I just want to put in a few more little of the starry sequins and I've sorted out some silver and some white sequins from the, um, the metallic, uh, uh, metallic in assortment. That's easy for you to say. And I'm just going to stab these here and there on the card front. I'm just putting little spots of, um, spots of liquid adhesive. I could have used my precision glue. It would help if I took the top off this, wouldn't it? That would work better. That's all going terribly well today. <laughs> yeah. Some days I'm not safe out. Um, and as it's going to be a shorter than usual video today, it's been some time since I did a, a live stream and uh, that's because the uh, my husband's parents haven't been terribly well and it's been a while for us to um, to arrange for um, for uh, a care routine for them uh, so things have been a bit unpredictable of late but we're now getting a bit more stable and a little bit more settled and where do I want another one do I want another one let me see I've got one clear one here I'm just going to put the clear one on now you're going to be able to see it while the adhesive is liquid but once the adhesive dries you won't be able to see that at all what do you think all right and i need i think one more clear one and then it's going to be a case of step away from the card So, uh, yeah, so if you uh, would like me to do a live stream, you know, a live stream workshop, leave your comments below, and uh, if there's enough interest, we'll, we'll give it a try. But meanwhile, I'm just going to go and let that dry. So there is the finished card, uh, which I like very much, and I think that would be a very good card to give to a gentleman as well as to a lady. So what do you think? Leave me a comment below and tell me. And also don't forget to leave a comment below if you like the idea of uh, me starting up the live streams again, because I really would like to know. Uh, or alternatively, you could hop on over to my Facebook page. Details again are below the video and you could leave me a comment there. And if while you're over there, you leave me a picture of what you've been up to as well. I'd really like to see it. Really would. Uh, but that is it for now. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.